Sometimes a network link will experience congestion. This is much like congestion you might experience on the roads. When they're filled to capacity, the traffic speed and performance suffers. In times of congestion, QoS gives priority to more important traffic. This is at the expense of less important traffic. Here we have a main office and a branch office. Between them is a 100 meg WAN link, which is reaching capacity. This link carries all types of traffic, including web browsing and phone calls. When the link is over capacity, some traffic will drop. There's no way around that. That's a limit to how much data this link can carry. Without QoS, it's first in, first served. There's no more logic to it than that. We will find then that voice traffic and web browsing traffic are both affected. This might cause phone calls to sound bad or even to drop out. Phone calls are usually more important, so we can configure QoS to prioritize voice traffic. This way, the voice traffic will pass through while the less important traffic will drop. Notice that this still drops some traffic. QoS does not magically make your links better or faster. Neither does it make the congestion go away entirely, but it does allow the more important traffic to get through first. We configure QoS to identify network traffic and categorize it. For example, we may create a real-time category which contains voice and video traffic. This type of traffic is sensitive to network congestion and is usually high priority. Another category might be for network management and contain routing updates. There might be a category for business critical applications and websites. And finally, a category for non-essential traffic. QoS handles each of these categories in different ways, according to their needs. For example, we may reserve an amount of bandwidth for real-time traffic. We may also make sure the router forwards these packets first. For other traffic, we use a strategy called shaping. Shaping buffers the forwarding of packets until there is bandwidth available. For other traffic types, we may consider policing. This is where we rate limit the amount of bandwidth these applications have. We'll talk about shaping and policing in the next video. Here is the key point that you should remember. QoS is helpful for congested links or to help prevent them becoming congested. If you're regularly experiencing congestion, you may have a bigger problem. You may need to consider upgrading your links or reviewing the traffic that you allow over them. QoS is part of the solution, not the entire solution. Do not avoid upgrading your capacity simply because you're using QoS. Quality of service includes several tools to get the job done. As we'll see in this video and the next, we can combine them to achieve different outcomes.